to see a cross section of East Coast riding and you look at all the different personalities that go into building these trails, it shows the community through the trails itself. Uh, I, that's just amazing to me. Crazy fast, it's incredibly picturesque, and I think it's a reflection on the drive of the people who reside on the East Coast. Awesome riding, just like that world class riding right here. We have great trails here on the East Coast, and I think a lot of times it's underrated and you know, maybe just not totally understood. That character. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. places around the country and stuff is a lot faster flow you're riding but you just don't get the, the technical aspect that you do here on these coasts. almost every day. I just try to ride as much as I can and try to stray away from the main line as much as possible. The East Coast is kind of uh, challenging because it doesn't give as much to you. You got to kind of earn your, your turns and your rocks. You can transfer some of what you learn and, and ride here to your normal trail experience and just teaches you how to ride differently. So I mean it just expands the possibilities when you're out in the woods. Ooh, describe Jeff. <laughs> He's tall, he likes to count in crows, he doesn't go far enough off the drop and pops a tire. He's always taking selfies. You can say all that. <laughs> I met Harlan about a year ago. He came to the first ever enduro I did, raced it blind and won. <laughs> Harlan is a great lover, um, from what I've heard. And he's always impressed me with just uh, how smooth of a rider he is, and he's just able to read terrain really well. I've known Matt for a long time. Got to ride a lot with him, and he's, he's got good sight lines. He knows how to find a line. I've known George for a really long time. He comes from a downhill racing background, so it's always fun for me to ride with him because he just looks at everything from a completely different perspective. A lot of the natural terrain here is a little rockier than a lot of the other places. East Coast just tends to have a lot more foliage, greens.
everybody has a mutual respect for what's going on on the East Coast right now. We're all in it together. We work together and we'll see more and more people get involved with mountain biking and have a change their lives and have a good time.